Prophets, a piece that I did on an Easter Sunday, uh, I believe 2013 it is. The, uh, I went to my studio, uh, being a Catholic, I no longer kind of attend the masses and all that, so my studio was my church on Sunday morning of uh, Easter Sunday of that year. And I was just inspired to take these three big sheets of paper, staple them to the wall, and create a, a work which ultimately became the prophets. Uh, it started with the uh, Christian prophet, uh, which uh, is a, a figure with a cross behind it, but really talks about all, all religions and the fact that our religion and the, uh, the rhetoric of religion has superseded the spirituality and the connection to, to the Great Spirit. And so it's, we've, we've lost a lot, but you know, it's, religion superseded the words of, of uh, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha. There's so much, uh, other information involved in that, uh, rules, uh, but the basic tenets were all the same. You know, love, love each other, love, love everything around you. So these are, are parts of that religion that we have been kind of lost because of, of uh, it's become such a corporate and such a monster with all these rules. So that that's what that piece is about, and it's the. Uh, a, a beautiful face that uh, the face of the religion is so beautiful and so comforting but behind it is is the cross and the guilt that goes with it the Indian prophet what I called my connection to the land my the words of the Great Spirit coming through me through the land through the uh, through the rocks and the sweat lodge uh, through the mountains the wind uh, on the wings of uh, the figure itself, kind of is like a hawk, maybe a red-tailed hawk, who's been a part of my life in many different occasions. Uh, so I depicted this figure as this not only transformation, but actual connection to the uh, spirit world. And for Native people that trust in the uh, in the Great Spirit connection to the uh, to the ancestors is so important and it's like I uh, down south we bury our ancestors under us so that they're close to us so they can talk to us when we need to we need comfort a lot of that's been lost so that piece kind of uh, brings to mind that that is the part of us that we need to rebuild our connection to our ancestral spirits, to the uh, Creator, to our connection, our reconnection to the land. The New Age Prophet, he talks about the future and I have him depicted kind of as like a large stone, the, the actual, the mountains, the ancient ones that have been here for billions of years who are talking to us, saying that they will still be here when we destroy this planet, if we keep going the way we are. And it kind of represents all the prophets of, uh, of the time that, you know, the Edward Casey's. Uh, there's been so many prophets in, in, in this world from ancient times to today. And their words to me seem to be embedded in that ancient mountain. And he will still be standing. And we might not be here unless we change our way.